what we see today in Minnesota is what you're anticipating for California. We're seeing the state attorney general's office conduct that prosecution uh, of the officer accused of the murder of George Floyd. Uh, and it, in the aftermath of that of that killing of George Floyd, that's when you decided the state attorney general's office in California should be involved in these cases. Well, good evening, Lawrence. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be with you tonight. And um, I'm honored to be nominated to be the next attorney general for the state of California. And uh, the next step in the process is confirmation. Uh, but yes, the, the the summer of George Floyd, the racial justice reckoning, really continued to motivate California to do what we've already been doing, which is to pursue criminal justice reform, uh, infuse our system, which is broken in so many places with more justice, more humanity, more fairness, and more safety. And uh, AB 1506, the bill that you just referenced, which is the law, which requires the independent, thorough outside investigations by the attorney general's office of officer-involved shootings that result in the death of an unarmed Californian, uh, was multiple years in the making. I worked my, with my incredible colleague, Assemblymember Kevin McCarty, on that bill, and last year we got it passed and signed and turned into law. What is your reaction now uh, on the verge of becoming California's next attorney general, watching this trial uh, in Minneapolis, knowing that this kind of case could come your way? Well, I mean, the trial is, is full of, of trauma and pain and anger and frustration. Um, uh, the, the emotions and the, the forces that help fuel uh, the change of our, our systems and our structures that is needed. And we're still turning that, that moment into a movement. Uh, but I, I look forward to the opportunity to help build more trust between our law enforcement and our communities, a, a trust that is not always there. And I think the vast majority of law enforcement uh, personnel want to earn and build and sustain that trust. But uh, police accountability is an important part of it, not the only part of it, but an important part of it. And AB 1506 uh, will help create uh, the perception and the reality of police accountability. But we also need to do more. We need to invest in uh, uh, improving our culture in best practices and changing our systems, uh, providing training resources, uh, support for our law enforcement so that uh, we can have real de-escalation policies, uh, remove implicit and explicit bias uh, from policing and make sure it's so important right now, Lawrence, that we are responding adequately to uh, the rash in uh, API hate violence. There's been uh, all sorts of different eruptions in our culture over just over the last few weeks, including what you just mentioned, uh, this problem uh, that we're seeing with Asian Americans and, and the vulnerability that they feel. How would you speak to that as attorney general? I would say to the API community, I, I, I see you, I value you. I am you. Uh, from my own lived experience as a Filipino American, uh, born in the Philippines, came here as a two month old who has felt the sting of hate and discrimination over the course of my lifetime. Uh, I stand with you and I, I will stand by your side and, and fight with you to make sure that justice is done, uh, that victims are uh, given the support and healing that they need, that perpetrators are held accountable, and that we improve our systems to present, prevent hate violence from happening in the first place. And if it happens, that we have adequate systems to, to heal and uh, bring the perpetrators of hate to justice and to account. Uh, what, do you consider the attorney general to be in a cooperative relationship with local prosecutors or more of an oversight relationship? Both. I think uh, collaborative collaboration is part of my approach to all things that I do, working with our uh, district attorneys throughout the state of California who are elected in their own right, have critically important jobs. Uh, I, I wanna work with them. I, I wanna work in concert to make our criminal justice system more, more fair, more just, and more safe. The Constitution does also provide a direct supervisory role for the California Attorney General over uh, sheriffs and district attorneys. Um, but I, I, I uh, want to and will seek collaboration, um, coalition building, solution-oriented approaches as much as possible to move our state to where we need to be. 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.